The, we've talked about uh, fusarium and botrytis uh, uh, decays in, in storage. Uh, the third important one is called uh, penicillium blue mold. Very important. You see it uh, all the time in, in garlic storages. Uh, it also can occur as a seedling uh, decay, and I'll show you pictures of that in a minute. The characteristic thing about this is that it, it produces a, a very pretty, uh, for a plant pathologist anyway, a pretty, <laughs> a pretty uh, mold. Uh, it produces a white mold, but it has this blue-green uh, mold associated with it too. So, uh, as I say, very pretty. This is uh, the result of planting infected penicillium cloves. Uh, the seedlings, uh, uh, the, the cloves decay and the seedlings basically die. Uh, and again, you can see the, the, the blue-green mold associated with that, uh, that fungus. So uh, management is really avoid, uh, avoid, avoid damage to the cloves because that opens up wounds that can can uh, allow the penicillium to get into the, the bulbs and the cloves, cure the bulbs properly, avoid physical damage uh, to the bulbs. Short, again, like Petrata, short rotations will, will help uh, reduce uh, populations. Just a couple of year, year, uh, years rotation should do the trick. Uh, again, once the, the debris has uh, decayed fully, then uh, you've really reduced the, the penicillium greatly. And there is, a, for those uh, non-organic growers, there is a, a registration in Canada for Ravrol as a, a clove dip uh, to control uh, uh, penicillium. 